Today we're going to take a look at basic fold finding on the DNO. It's a fairly simple controller and it's quite easy to do basic fault finding on it. The first step is to measure the voltages on the six pin connector here. These can tell us a lot about what is going on with the system. Also, if you do need to call us, we will need to have this information. Step one, first make sure your system is safe to test. Either jack up the wheels or disconnect the main drive motors. We use either a small motor or a light bulb for testing. Step two, print off the fault finding sheet from the support stroke troubleshooting page of our website. Step three is remove the cover from the DNO and place some cardboard between the circuit board and the heat sink like this to prevent short circuits. Uh, step four, set your voltmeter to the 200 volt scale. All these voltage measurements are going to be made with respect to the B minus terminal. So to make this easy, we use a crocodile clip on the black meter wire. Step five, now we're going to measure each of the voltages on each of the pins on the six way connector. We'll start by placing the meter red lead onto pin A, which corresponds to the yellow wire. This should measure the same as the battery voltage, like that. And then we'll write the value in the box on the test sheet. Now move the meter to, to pin B, which corresponds to the white wire. This should be zero with the ignition switched off, and should be the same as the battery voltage with the ignition switched on. Write the values in the boxes on the sheet. Now we'll move the meter to pin C, which corresponds to the black wire. With the ignition on and the direction set to forward, this should be zero. And when we switch to reverse, it should be the same as battery voltage, like so. Write the values in the box. Now we'll check the pot wires. So move the meter lead to pin D, which corresponds to the red wire. With the ignition off on it, this should be zero. And with the ignition on, this should be around seven to eight volts. Write the values in the boxes on the sheet. Now move the meter lead to pin E, which corresponds to the blue wire. With the ignition on and the pot set to minimum, this should be zero. And as the pot is turned up, it should gradually increase to the 7.8 volts, which we got in the previous test. Write the values in the box again. And lastly, we'll, we'll move the meter lead to pin F, which corresponds to the green wire. And this should give almost zero, around about half a volt, with the ignition off or on. Now have a look at the results. The, te the test sheet has some, some possible causes if any of the voltages are wrong. If you're stuck, then scan the and email the completed sheet to us. While we're here, I'll also show you the lo location of the fuse tracks. They are here and here. You can test them electrically by switching your multimeter to the res resistance range and measuring across the two, the two points. Like this. If a fuse track has blown, you can solder some one amp fuse, fuse wire or you can fit a self-resetting fuse which are available on our website. That's it. I hope this will get you back running again. If you found this video useful, please like and share it below to help other folks to find it. Thank you.